Mike Murdoch, Love Day, Saturday night. Looks a few minutes after six o'clock here in Texas time. Hope that you go to my website occasionally, Mike Murdoch Books. Dot com, MikeMurdochBooks.com. I usually teach every day, Monday through Friday, live on social media. Facebook, Twitter. I don't like their X, but it's there. Facebook, X, YouTube, and Instagram. Live for about an hour, sometimes a little more. I'll be 78 years old in April, my 58th anniversary, and I'm, I just sent out you a letter if you're on my uh, newsletter list. If you'd like to receive my newsletter, let me know. It's free, but I'd sure love for you to be a part. I started preaching publicly when I was six years old. I'm sorry, eight years old, Waco, Texas. I travel with my father at 10 in a tent from city to city, and daddy built seven churches. I spoke my first church crusade when I was 15 years old for Brother Howard Holton, who passed to heaven a few weeks back. He was my father's favorite person. I went to Bible school for three semesters, Southwestern Assemblies of God Bible College, and had to leave because I owed $550 I couldn't pay. And that was quite a, a radical experience for me. So later I sent many, many people through Bible school and paid for I don't know how many people to go to Oral Roberts University, Christ for the Nations, and Kenneth Hagen's Bible School, I think it's, what was it called? Anyway, the Word, something about the Word of God. But I put many through Bible school. I was born and raised in a preacher's home. My father had seven children and uh, built seven churches and was a man of prayer. He was known for that. He was a intercessor. I don't think there's a day my father prayed less than four hours. Very quiet man, had a mean belt. When he got mad, he was pretty rough, but he was a good man, pure man. He believed that whipping a child was very scriptural and important. I don't feel that way. I feel like um, that scripture is misapplied. I believe the more gentle and the more conversations you have with the child, the better. I was married 13 years to the only girl I ever kissed in my lifetime. She had other interests. My heart was broken. In fact, her boyfriend at the time moved in 14 days after I got a little apartment down the road. When I went through the divorce, I uh, was devastated. Wanted to leave the ministry, didn't feel like there's no way I could tell people to, that God did miracles when my ministry had almost toppled. God walked me through those days because of great people. I've been close to famous people, preachers, politicians. I've spent hours with many. Or Roberts, Jimmy Swaggart, Jim Baker, Lester Sumrall, Rod Parsley, Donald Trump, Vice President George H.W. Bush, and I could go on. Let me cover four or five things in this little video with you tonight, this Saturday night. One is 
Wisdom is the most important thing. According to Proverbs 2, wisdom is the ability to discern bad people. Verse 5, 12, and 16. There are several ways to get wisdom. One is to listen to your father. And Solomon wrote the book of Proverbs to his son. Another way to get wisdom is to go to the pig pen, run away from home like the prodigal, and ignore all the good people in your life. And uh, you need mentorship as your pain, as your mentor. You need pain as your mentor. Some people require losses before they can recognize wisdom. I hope you're not that way. Another way to get wisdom is to ask questions. Matthew 7, verse 7, ask, seek, and knock. Another way to get wisdom is to read. Revelation says, read, read, read. I just gave away my library of 13,000 books to a 28-year-old lady. I've never met her yet, but she wanted to buy my house. And so she said, if you'll give me your library, I'll buy your house. I said, it's a deal. I'm going to recommend that you go to an Evelyn Woods. I don't know if they still have them, but I attended a Evelyn's Wood speed reading course. It's valuable, unique, and discerning. Very powerful. And we took tests. I made 90%, 90 at 3,400 words a minute. You don't learn slower and learn less. There's magic to that system of speed reading. Let me ask you some questions. Where are you unlearned? Where are you unlearned, untaught? Wherever you're untaught, you're making mistakes. Mistakes are costly. Where are you unwilling to learn? What are you unwilling to learn about? I'm unwilling to learn about how to repair a car. I don't care. I don't want to repair an air conditioner. I don't care. You must decide where you will be willingly ignorant and hire others to do that. I'm going to come back in a moment and uh, talk to you about Job and Joseph. There's the book you want, book 35. Almost 400 pages called The Father's topical Bible. That phone number right there is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 817-759-BOOK. I'm coming back in a moment. I wish you would send these little videos to everybody important to you. One or two wisdom keys can unlock your palace. I'll be back.